my name is Abby Pelletier and I'm the food service director for MS8060. We realized that when school was going to be closed that many children would go out without food. So we decided as a district it was very important that we continue to feed the children uh, during this time of unexpected closure. The program is open to all students under the age of 18, district-wide for students that live in North Berwick, Berwick, and Lebanon. My name is Kimberly Smith. I am the um, kitchen manager here at Noble High School. Lonely. <laughs> it's very quiet, um, but we're getting things done and um, feeding children like we've always fed children, and we'd like more to come. We follow the summer food service program uh, food guidelines. It includes usually a grain, a fruit, um, sometimes some vegetable, milk, juice, and we try to include as much protein as possible when possible. Correct. So we have on um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday pick up or drop off, um, and they include two days worth of meals on Mondays, two days worth of meals on Wednesdays, and one day on Friday. But we also include the backpack program on Friday to those who are eligible and participate. Hi, my name is Andrew Elwell. I'm a co-administrator at Mary Hurd Academy um, here in North Berwick that um, we provide programming to students um, in North Berwick, Berwick and Lebanon, as well as tuition students um, from outside of our district as well. Um, for This is our sixth year. We've run the MSAD 60 backpack program. Um, it's a program designed to help food insecure students throughout our district have um, meals over the weekend. So we provide students with um, two breakfast items, two lunch items, and two items for dinner. Um, during the school closure, I can be reached directly um, by my email. It's andrew.elwell at msad60.org. Yep, so we have about five to six people per school. We have one at Noble High School, one at Noble Middle School, and Hanson School. So we do have the option for meals to be delivered to households. As we know, not everyone can get to a school during the 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock pickup. So we have that option for families to sign up for that. We're using what we've got. We're a little bit of both. Yep, we're trying to make it as shelf stable as possible so that um, it doesn't require a lot of refrigeration for them when they pick it up um, and make it grab and go and easy for us to handle too so that they're not a lot of close contact and, and not a lot of cleanup so we can get in and get out. So I think at this time we are keeping it internal with our food service staff in terms of meal production, but I know the backpack program is always looking for food donations and I'm sure Andrew could speak to that. Um, but reach out to me directly and I'm happy to meet you um, to get those donations. But during this time, you know, it's important that we keep those supplies coming in because we want to make sure that everybody that needs food gets food call central office they'll be able to get in touch with me um, and you can make checks out payable to MS8060 backpack program or um, we take cash and we'll just put it right in our activity fund and um, we'll shop every week for the food that we need. We miss you. We, 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 we wish we could have school. It's, it's, we like seeing your faces and we miss you.